Can you believe it's been two years and a half since we first like came here for our first meeting? Yeah, I know it's crazy. When I saw like, the throwback pics like on Instagram, it's like two years today, and I was like, oh my gosh, like. And you look at how much, like how different you look, or like mm. how you spoke back then, and, like or how much more confident yeah. we've got as well. Exactly. Yeah. And I think about like when we stood as well, like the election time, and like, yeah. like the whole campaign, and. It's been like so long since that, like almost three years. That's crazy. I remember when we like started the group chats and stuff, and like we never like knew, we never like met up before then, <laughs> and we all just like it was going off. Like the yeah. notifications are popping every second. Why did you all want to become Welsh Youth Parliament members? Personally, it was a really like charged political time. I remember it was like 2019, and um, everyone was talking about Brexit, and then nothing seemed to be going on about climate change, and I just got a bit angry to be honest because. Young people had opinions and they weren't being listened to at all. And I would have conversations in school and people always said that young people didn't know what they were talking about. But I was having conversations and, every, you know, all my friends had an opinion, um, but that didn't seem to be valued. So I wanted to make a contribution and stand up for what I believe in and what I think my friends believe in and finally get our voices heard. Yeah, it, it was the same for me, to be honest, because we didn't have a sort of a central place to voice our opinions um, and as you said you know we did have very strong opinions about what was happening at the time we had the uh, youth uh, climate strikes happening and then we were having people telling us that we didn't know what we were talking about so to have you know a platform for us to be able to stand on and actually represent the views of young people I think it was really good and able to actually have a conversation about other things. Yeah, I agree, because um, I did a lot of volunteer work like locally before the Youth Parliament, but I felt like there was no way to get that to go anywhere, sort of like on a bigger scale, and I think the Youth Parliament, like standing for the Youth Parliament, meant that I could help all these people that were coming together with different like you know views and stuff and get it more on like a national level and make sure that young people's voices were heard like in parliament not just like in their school and stuff because there's a lot of young people with a lot of great things to say there were a lot of people are quite shy so I think I stood to make sure that my friends who were quite shy also got a voice and that I could kind of like get everyone heard in in like a on a bigger scale sort of thing yeah for me it's like um, whenever I kind of switched on the TV or like I watched the news and I saw the people that were supposed to be kind of our representatives and the politicians, they were never truly representing me. I never saw myself in them personally. And as we know, politics is kind of something that's dominated by quite a single demographic of kind of older, perhaps white and males. Um, and I'm completely opposite to that. So see, a, seeing the opportunity of the youth parliament was something for me to kind of you know almost um have as a goal to work towards and to have perhaps be an inspiration to other people that look like me or that are in my community to also take part in something that perhaps you wouldn't normally take part in or you wouldn't normally think is um kind of uh, like an opportunity for you and yeah and also the opportunity to speak to like ministers mm. and politicians and that sort of stuff that that seemed like something that really excited me because I really wanted, to, you know, these are the people with power and we get to talk to them and say what young people are thinking. And, you know, it's really a great privilege almost to be able to get the opportunity to do that. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it shows that it's not just a talking shop, that we can actually talk to the people, to the people directly making decisions, not just, you know, members of the Senate, but also, you know, the ministers making the decisions for themselves. And I think it's important that ministers do take our views into account. For example, I remember um, the day before Kirsty Williams, who was then um, the education minister, was about to uh, make a decision on cancelling exams and changing to assessments for this year. Uh, she had a meeting with us at about 48 hours notice, um, and she really did want to hear our views. So I think that was really important because obviously those decisions affect us. So it's only right that we have some sort of say in them. People are quite like distanced from politics and like we're told we don't know you know we don't know what we're talking about and we we don't understand political like systems and stuff but I think like ministers actually taking notice of us and wanting to speak to us really like made me feel like, empowered and that like my age and being a young person and being like female didn't mean that I couldn't you know have political political opinions and sort of talk to people who had the opportunity to make change. It was quite like empowering and also 
just just nice to know that we were being listened to, which is like the youth parliament made me feel like we were actually being listened to, and it wasn't just something that ministers had to do, talk to young people. Like it was something that they wanted to do. Was yeah. the, sorry, you go. And I was going to say, especially with like votes sixteen, it's so great that we have this platform for young people to actually, you know, say their views and have that direct link to those ministers and to those politicians, because often. Yeah, there's other kind of youth platforms for kind of things, but it's not as direct. They don't have that kind of relationship that you have in the youth parliament with kind of the um, MSs and such. So, yeah. Was the Welsh Youth Parliament everything you thought it would be? Or <coughs> did you expect different? I didn't know what I expected, because obviously we were the first ever Welsh Youth Parliament. But it, whatever it was, it was amazing. And I, I feel like I've grown up with some of you people. Like when I first started, I think I was like 15 or 16 or something like that, I had a squeaky voice. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, and we've all kind of developed together. And now we're like, we're kind of um, in our last years of school and that sort of stuff. And I, yeah, I've got some of my closest friends as part of the youth parliament, and it's just been amazing. Yeah, like you said, growing up with each other, it's, you're completely right there. Um, Obviously, we had the meetings and everything, but I think being, being able to actually have conversations as well with young people and actually have a platform, not only with the meetings important, but actually having conversations and making sure that young people did feel represented, I think that was the most important thing. And I feel like we did that a lot because we had the three meetings. We had the three resident, um, well, supposed to be three residential meetings. We had three national meetings. Um, and when we had the first uh, residential meeting in February 2019, and we were all sat in here for the first time, the first time we were all meeting each other nationally. Um, and it was just really powerful being able to listen to everyone's two minute speeches and to listen to you know, voices from all sorts of different backgrounds, people that you know, I'd never met before from different parts of Wales. And it was really powerful just to hear you know, different opinions on issues that I hadn't you know, ever really thought about. So I think that was really powerful. I think, as Guion said, like, we were all from different backgrounds, like, all from different parts of Wales, but we all wanted the same thing. We wanted to make change for young people, and I think it was really nice because regardless of like, how different we were, we were all different ages, genders, we all came together and like, had a great time and, and did really good stuff. Like, we made brilliant change, and I think... It was it was great to have other young people that were also involved, like interested in politics and making a change. And I made lots of friends that like I didn't expect to have. I didn't expect to have like 59 new friends, you know. And like some of the people that I've met are like some of my closest friends that will be my friends for like life now. And um, I think I expected it to be more like you know formal and structured. But really, there was a lot of like space for us to sort of do what we wanted to do. Um, and kind of like make the change we wanted to do. And if we if we wanted to like suggest something to work on, we were like allowed to do that. And I think it was really nice that we had those residential times to make friends and like um, you know share ideas as well as like the formal meetings, which is like good life experience. That is like things that a lot of people don't get to experience. So I think it was like a nice mix. Whereas when I signed up, I thought it was going to be kind of more formal than it was, but it was kind of a nice mixture of both. Yeah, personally, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't... Because I was quite young when I signed up. I was worried that I wouldn't, like, know enough. I mean, there were people that were studying politics for, like, A-levels, and then it was me, like, I'd never even kind of entered anything into, like, the world of politics. So it was quite a contrast. But upon entering, it was, like, there was, like, no difference. It was so seamless. And, like, even those that had that kind of knowledge and that perhaps were studying it and were really looking like, into politics they were able to just kind of, like, educate the rest of us. And I think we were all educating each other because we've all obviously, like, as we said, have come from different backgrounds and have such a diverse range of experiences that we were able to kind of share with each other and relate to each other as well and, like, empathise um, upon. So I think that's what was really strong. And I think, I think especially with young people, because, I mean, from, like, 11 to 18, there can be quite a wide gap between kind of knowledge and, like, experiences... But, I mean, especially with us, I just, I didn't even notice it. It was like we all kind of knew each other from, like, such a long time. It was kind of weird, that first meeting, I think. Um, but, yeah, I'm just glad that I kind of met you guys. I mean, even just being here, it's like, every, it kind of feels like a second home. It's like, I mean, I, rem I remember when I walked in, it was so big. It felt like, I was like, gosh, it's like Narnia. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so glad <laughs> I met you guys and stuff. 
One of my favorite things was speaking to people who I completely disagreed with um, on like, like big politics level. But one of my favorite things about the youth parliament was that it was such like positive politics. It wasn't about political parties and arguing and blah, 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 blah. It was about us coming together and us agreeing, okay, climate change is important, mental health is important, these things are important. How, what is the best way we're gonna to do to tackle this? And I just love that because we all came together and we all agreed that these issues were so important and we were all so passionate about them. And everyone just got along and, you know, from all backgrounds, people completely different to myself. Um, and we could, you know, unify around these issues that affected young people. What are the three moments that stand out to you from when we were members? It's a bit tricky. Yeah, it's, it's a hard <laughs> question three, because we it? had so many highlights. Um, I think one would be the first time we all like sat in the chamber. Like it was like amazing because, like, just the energy and everyone was so excited and like we kind of like you know had just met, but like we were so comfortable with each other and like it was we all had these big speeches prepared and I think that was like quite powerful. But there's also a lot of like smaller moments that like mean a lot to me from youth parliament, like meeting like meeting friends and doing the, the things we did like outside of like being in here like playing games and you know and all the things the quizzes and all the like fun things we did together and like all the conferences and stuff so I think I don't know if there's three moments exactly because I think I need a long time to think about three moments but there were some really good moments in both like the regional ones and like the national ones so I think I've got different like three favourite moments with different people. I could, like, you know, give three moments for each pe each person, I think. Um, for me, I think it was one of the first times when we appeared on the news. I remember, like, my friends from that weren't in the youth parliament that were sending me, like, clips on Snapchat. And it was so kind of just funny to see people, like... It was almost like the first time people really kind of took an interest in this type of stuff. And I think just that's what's so important, that's what's so nice about the youth parliament is that even something as simple as just young people seeing other young people on the news, you know, they kind of immediately engage with that. And it, it was really, like, nice and empowering to know that, you know, BBC News, ITV Wales were actually taking an interest into the Youth Parliament and were really taking the time out to listen to us, to have, like, you know, different, like, speeches with us, individual moments with us. And I think, I mean, for me personally, I kind of developed a relationship with them over time. I mean, they still kind of call me now if they need a news piece or something like that. So to know that we've established those relationships and thanks to Youth Parliament, we have that kind of network of like, uh, media that contact us when they kind of need something like that, I think is really, really nice and really important. But it's also something that you wouldn't get in a, on a regular basis. I personally wouldn't get that from school. So to know that I can, like, you can get that from joining this type of platform, I think is amazing. Yeah, I think one of my favorite things, one of my favorite moments, um, was just like speaking to my friends in school, and not just my friends, people who I don't speak to in school about the youth parliament and the stuff we were doing, the work we were doing, um, the issues that were important to us. Because um, you know, so many young people say, I'm not interested in politics, but then I start talking about the stuff that we were doing. Um, you know, we were tackling plastic pollution, we were mental health, change to the curriculum, things that affected our lives. And just the way that people would just want to talk and talk and say their opinion and like say how important these things were, I felt really empowered and privileged to be in the position where I was part of this youth parliament where we were trying to make those changes. Yeah, I think my three favourite moments would be, well, the first would be when we all came in here for the first time um, and sat down for our residential meeting and we just, you know, talked about anything and everything and we had the debates at you know, the end of each issue. And that was, you know, really interesting. The second would probably be uh, our uh, residential meeting in October 2019 when we presented our life skills of the curriculum report. It was so uh, refreshing and quite, you know, relieving to be able to, you know, deliver that report. And for the recommendations to be actually acted upon, that was, you know, really satisfying to see and to see that, you know, young people's issues had been actually acted upon you know, after we'd talked about them. And then my last would be um, probably going on Wales Live. Um, I, like Angel said, we had loads of media opportunities and I got the opportunity to go on um, Wales Live and that was incredible. I went on with a few MSs. So did you any, get any uh, unique experiences while you were members as well? 
I remember during the pandemic, a special moment for me was um, when we got to speak to the government over Zoom. We were speaking to Mark Drakeford and the First Minister and all the ministers, and we got to share our opinions and stuff, and they were listening to us. And this was height of the pandemic when, you know, um, Mark Drakeford would go on, like, every Friday to talk to the whole of Wales in his pulpit. Um, and getting the opportunity to speak to him at that point um, about the experience of young people um, was quite a special moment. And another special moment I had was um, having the opportunity to interview Carmen Jones, the former First Minister. So I got to talk to two First Ministers, which was quite fun. Um, yeah, for me, I was uh, invited to be kind of like a special guest um, alongside the Mayor of Cardiff um, for this panel event. So that was really exciting for me because, I mean, usually as well, you wouldn't expect a, a child <laughs> effectively to be a special guest, especially like alongside such an important figure um, Dan Diath, who's been monumental, especially for uh, BAME people here in Wales and Cardiff. It, w it was so kind of just empowering to be alongside such an influential role model. And then to also have these young people who were looking up to me and who were so invested in asking questions and stuff. For me, that was kind of one of the first times I really kind of realised almost the weight of the role that we have and how kind of the title we have isn't just something that you kind of just put on the end of our um, names. It's something that people do respect. It is something that people kind of do like, pay attention to. So for me, that was yeah, a big, unique moment. Yeah, I think it wasn't just like the opportunities we got in the youth parliament as well. It was like the other things that came from it, like the news and the, um, you know, the opportunities to be like on television and all these things that a lot of young people don't get to experience. And also, like, the opportunity um, to speak to ministers in lockdown was amazing because you could say that we were making a direct impact on, like, decisions that were happening right there. Like, the pandemic was a big thing for a lot of us, and I think being able to talk to ministers as it was happening was really important for us to know that we were, like, getting our voices heard. It was, like... It was, it was like, it sometimes got me through as well like in the, in the lockdown because it was quite hard to be at home all the time and I knew that I was still doing something important. So it was, that was quite a good, like, unique opportunity to have. I don't know about you guys, but I was hugely inspired by so many members. Like, everyone, everyone inspired me all the time. Like, I remember, like, all these speeches, your speech on Kavyuk Trawari and your speech on Black History and your speech on mental health. Like... I was so inspired by all of those and, uh, you know, I got quite emotional in some of those speeches because I thought, you know, you really spoke from the heart and really said what you thought and I just, yeah, you all inspired me. Uh, yeah, I do feel that we had a really big impact on the three issues that we chose and, the other, you know, of course, every issue that uh, was, you know, brought into the forefront. But particularly, you know, like I said, when we were presenting the report for Life Skills and the Curriculum, it felt really empowering to be actually be able to deliver um, the recommendations that we wanted to see implemented. Because we were representing young people and we were representing their concerns and what they wanted to see changed about the curriculum. So I think it was really vital, you know, to see that change being implemented. And it was quite, you know, it was a relief to see that. How do you think being, having had the experience of being a Welsh Youth Parliament member, how do you think that will benefit you in the future? Like Angel said, you know, with job interviews or anything that requires you to, you know, be pragmatic and, you know, talk about yourself or talk about anything really, it's, you know, it's so, so helpful. At the moment, we're doing um, uh, head boy or head girl elections at the moment, and that's been a huge help, you know, being able to speak in front of people, talk about different issues that affect people and actually being able to represent them on those issues, you know, being in the youth parliament has been ever so helpful in that. Yeah, I think even having, like, the confidence to speak in front of people, like, when I first joined, like, I remember the first speech, like, in the Senate, like, I was so nervous. Like, I, I didn't even want to stand up, like, I was so nervous, I was so scared. And now, like, I, w I will go and speak in front of people now, I'll, like, do news reports and things, and, like, obviously I still get a bit nervous, but it's, like, given me the, like, the chance to be able to have sort of more self-confidence to just speak to people. And I think in my, my, like, uni application, like, it was kind of, um, like, important to have that in there, like, because of all the skills and, like, unique opportunities it had. 
and I've had like work experience with my um, MP because of it because me and my MP like work a lot together now and I think we will still even though my youth parliament role is finished um, so I think it's just um, helped me sort of like have experience that I wouldn't have got otherwise. Yeah, I think it's the same for me in terms of the confidence and stuff. Definitely helped me came up, uh, come out of my shell more and kind of have those skills and qualities, such as even just like teamwork, leadership and stuff um, that I've kind of developed due to being in this role. And I also think, I mean, for me, I have my A-level options and I've chosen government and politics, which if you asked me like three years ago, would you choose that? I probably said no. Um, I had like no interest in politics at all. And now I'm choosing to study it for my A-levels, which is such a big leap. And I genu I've genuinely learned so much, you know, being in the youth parliament from you guys, from the, you know, the uh, MSs and just from other influential figures, you know, the adults and the young people around us. And I'm so grateful for the opportunities that we've had and for those kind of learning experiences because I feel like they really have shaped kind of who we are today. And that seems like a big statement, but it really, like, I kind of look at myself, like, when we started, I really see kind of the change that, the good change that has happened due to it. I think I've learned so much about public speaking, um, you know, how to kind of speak sort of more clearly and slowing down when you're speaking and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think I'm better at that now. Um, I think I've improved my ability to make friends. I feel like I'm better at doing that now because I've, I've had so many experiences here, you know, 59 new friends. Um, and as well, things like empathy. Um, I think my empathy has improved um, in terms of listening to people and trying to feel how they feel um, and putting yourself in other people's shoes and seeing different sides of an argument is, you know, nothing is ever black and white. There's always a gray area. And I think, um, yeah, I think I've become more empathetic in that sense, which is something I'm so glad I've done. I definitely agree with it, and actually being open-minded to all sorts of issues and viewpoints and issues in the world, because I think the most important thing is that we increased, you know, how much young people were represented in democracy. We obviously had votes at 16. Young people were able to vote for the first time. 16 and 17 year olds were able to vote for the first time in May this year. And that was incredible to see people that, you know, I would have never have thought that would have voted come up to me and said, oh yeah, I went to vote today. Um, or, oh yeah, um, I I'm not sure who to vote for. Um, can you, you know, introduce me to the parties and so forth. Um, so that was really empowering to see that people, you know, wanted to take an interest, and even they didn't align, you know, even if they didn't align with a party specifically, you know, they did care about these issues like the environment, mental health, and they wanted to know where, you know, politicians stand on those. So to be able to give young people a platform in democracy, I think, was really important, and then that led on then to being able to vote at 16, which I think was really powerful. It was important. An important thing that I learned was that um, you can be friends with people and you can do good work with people, even if you don't have the same political views. Because before I joined, I thought, oh, I can't, you know, I could never work with someone who has a different political view than me. But really, I've got so many friends and done so much good work with people who have completely different political views to me. But when it comes down to issues that directly affect young people, like mental health and, you know, um, climate change, etc., like all of us had the same views and we all wanted to make a positive change. And I think, um, like, I've, ma I've made amazing friends, as I said before, like amazing friends that I'll have for the rest of my life. And I've developed my public speaking skills, confidence, um, even like my ability to just go out and do things that I wouldn't usually do, new opportunities. Um, like even like learning the Welsh language, like um, being around you guys has really helped that, helped me with that, living um, in an area where Welsh isn't really like that popular, but being around you guys has helped me like develop my Welsh language skills. And um, it's also helped me just, you know, learn how to be more confident in myself and, know that I've got a voice, which is quite nice. I think quite often in kind of the modern world, especially with things like social media, we are shown that there's more that divides us than brings us together. We're seeing, okay, so that's, there's different religions, there's different political standpoints. These people will never mix, these people will never get along. But what, when you actually spend time with people who are different to you, who have different religions, different 
backgrounds, different wealth, different political standpoints, you actually do realise there is more that unites us. We agree on more things than we disagree on. And that has been a great realisation for me. Definitely, you know, being able to talk to, like you said, people from all sorts of different, you know, walks of life, I think it was really eye-opening. And I think that's the most important thing, because we were all there to, you know, represent young people and make sure that the issues they cared about were acted upon. So, you know, to be able to come together from all walks of life, it meant that we could actually look at those issues, look at the different standpoints, and then we could actually work together. And like you said, it didn't matter, you know, what we thought about, um, you know, political things and our p political standpoint. We were all there to make, you know, growing up in Wales, you know, a better place. Do you think we made a difference? Definitely. Yeah, yeah I think so. I mean, I think you can even just look online, to be honest. I think a quick Google search would show that the kind of difference that we've made. There's so many articles that you can see of the youth parliament have done this, or the youth parliament spoke that, or individual members. Because um, sometimes, yeah, it doesn't even have to be kind of as a whole of the youth parliament. But I think each one of us has gone on, like, away from the youth parliament to do great things as well and to make an impact. And even if it's not perhaps on a national basis. People have done stuff in their local communities that are so great and so amazing. And working alongside, like you said, you know, your um, MS to kind of continue to do those great things. And I think that's what the important thing is, is that even whilst our time is finished, we've still gone away and continue to do the work, which just shows how much it actually meant to us that we can still do it away from that kind of, uh, I guess, like, platform where it's encouraged. So, yeah. I think you all said as well that young people have come up and asked us about like political you know political views and told us like Guion said who they want to vote for etc and I think it's really nice to know that we could be like role models which was which was really great um, but also someone who's very approachable to young people and I think if all of us you know got a couple of people involved in politics more than they were before then it shows that we've made a change because it doesn't need to be a big national level like even getting a couple more people to vote like means that we're making like positive change for the future so i really do think that we've like done great things and we, we should all be proud of ourselves because we we had a great time so i agree that made me very happy in which i felt like we'd made a difference was that um in the election earlier this year um some of the big parties that stand here um put stuff we said our ideas into the manifestos and I thought that was just amazing because we're actually affecting these political parties. They are list they're listening to us and then they want to win our votes by putting our ideas in their manifestos um, to act and act upon. And also our, our recommendations to government, many of them have been acted upon or going to be acted upon and have influenced the way they're thinking about the future of Wales. And that's so such a proud, I feel so proud to be part of that. Exactly, and something you said about the manifestos there, I think every single one of the major political parties in Wales, they had a youth manifesto as well, um, outlining their policies for young people. Of course, you know, it's great that, um, you know, you could say that they're just appealing to young people, but even then that's a great thing because getting young people involved in politics can only be a good thing. And inc increasing representation and making sure that the issues we care about are acted upon, you know, that's why we're here and that's why we're members of the Welsh Youth Parliament.